Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to talk about um, easing. Uh, easing basically is when you fit one edge of fabric onto another edge of fabric, you're going to sew it, however one edge is going to be longer than the other. Uh, you'll have this in collars, you'll have this in sleeves, uh, various other uh, uh, types of sewing. So I'll show you uh, what I think is a simple way of doing it. Um, first, off, first off, a helpful way is determining the center of your first piece. Now, the, the, the pattern that you're using, if you're using a pattern, will show you what the center is. I just folded this, pinched it, and, uh, and made a center mark. Um, also, same here to make it simple, this piece, we're mimicking a sleeve, and I, I got the center to be right here. Uh, sometimes the center will not actually be in the center, it will be someplace else, uh, depending on how they want you to ease it in, but you'll just make the adjustment. So what we'll do is we'll pin the centers. together and then we'll pin the ends together. Okay, so as you can see, um, you can really see it here. This, this much, and sometimes it can be even more, that you're expected to fit in to here um, without any, bucker, um, any uh, bulk or puckering or anything like that. You're expected to ease it in. Now, if you just sew it regularly without manipulating the fabric with your hands, um, you're, you're going to get this puckering here which is not what you want. So you know every time you're easing, it's about manipulating the fabric with your hands, uh, pinching it ever so slightly uh, to fit it in, to fit it in, to fit it in uh, until it's straight. Okay? Uh, so let's go to the sewing machine. Now remember, uh, easing is about manipulating with the hands. Uh, the best uh, seamstresses or uh, sewers, uh, it's, not, it's not the speed of the sewing machine that makes them good. It's their ability to manipulate the fabric with their hands. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start at the end. I remember that so these edges also need to meet up too. So that's also hand manipulation. Okay. So we'll start. Okay, and you can start and stop because we're going to have to get, manipulate this fabric into the smaller, and, and see how here where I have a little bit of puckering, I can lift up the, uh, the presser foot, put it back down, sometimes that helps a little bit to flatten it out. Fingers are very, very important when it comes to sewing. See how we're now at the center and we know that's flat. On to the next section. And, and, and it, it, it takes a little bit of, uh, I think, practice getting this down, uh, but what you can do is, is, you know, always look at where you are. I'm, as I'm sewing, I'm, I'm looking at how much I need to fit in and how I, uh, how I need to fit it in, okay, if that makes any kind of sense. Okay, a little puck. 
pucker again, flatten it out. First a little bit, you can hear it. Okay, we'll take out the pins. So we see we turn it. It actually uh, actually looks like a sleeve. You can see it here. And uh, it'll be iron flat, a press flat. And as you can see in the seam, there is no puckering. It is smooth, even though um, one part is uh, bigger than the other. Okay? Right, so that is easing.